So I've set up some servants to work within this particular market. I'll show you what they do first and then we'll do a trade with them. Um, but if I uh, click well, over here, I can nominate a price within the ladder. So I'm going to click uh, at nine. Can you see what it's done? It's spread out that 128 across three different runners. It's split it up into three goes. But I could also uh, go on the other side and do it down here. So it's spread that particular trade out. You know how much I like doing that. So once we've analyzed the market, had a look at what we wanted to do, we can effectively do a spread entry if we want to. So let's do a spread entry here on this particular runner. You can see we're using stakes of 128 and it's spread out those across that particular and what what we're doing here is we're trying to get a good average price. We're saying we don't know particularly what that price that we're going to get in at is at, but it's somewhere around there. So we'll just spread our orders out um, around that particular price. And we just got to wait and see if we get matched here. So there you go. The first bit has been matched. And if we want to, we can do a spread entry up here. Um, but can you see that as soon as we attempt to do something there, it's cancelled off the orders on the other side. You have complete control over how it chooses to do that. And if you want it to do that, on this particular occasion, I've said that I want it to cancel unmatched bets when I put a closing trade in. But there is another way of doing it. And you can see on the servant, we have a thing called a spread exit. So if I want to exit, um, the servant will calculate what my exit position is and then spread that exit. So there you go. You can see it's put £64 in the market because that is what we had matched on the other side. We didn't have to move our mouse, nominate a stake, fiddle around, change the stakes, do all of those things. We just said to exit there and off it's gone and done that exit. Now if you wanted to, if we're getting nervous about this trade, we could always move the trade around. So we could say, oh actually this is going really well. We'll move the exit a little bit further up. Or if you think that the trade isn't going so well, you can always pull the trades down. But what you're doing is you're getting a good average entry, good average exit, and if you decide to exit your position um, and you want to nominate where that is or you want to move that exit position, the servant has automatically calculated out exactly what you need to do to exit your trade and then spread that for you as well. So you can see here, if we traded manually, we'd have to go click, 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 cancel, click, 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 cancel, uh, and, and vari variants thereof, and then when we decided to, to do a partially matched trade, we'd have to alter the stake, click, 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 and so on and so forth. But really with a servant, it's just as simple as pointing and clicking where you want to enter, where you want to exit. Um, you need to do very little fast. You can focus all your attention on the market and getting the best out of that particular trade. It's that simple.